Yo, what's going on guys? DJ here, and I'm bringing you guys a gameplay with a gold gun. This is my first gold gun on Black Ops 2. Hopefully I will continue this series uh, a bit out as well. I want to at least get the diamond camo for the SMGs and then uh, just kind of keep it rolling from there. Maybe I'll do uh, assault rifles. Well, that's going to be a difficult one because there's so many assault rifles in this game. Um, which is unfortunate because they're so horrible. And, and this is my experience at least. Maybe it will change with patches in the future. But like the assault rifles are second second best uh, comparison to the SMGs and this is coming again from somebody that is a straight up assault rifle player like all I would usually normally play with is an assault rifle so the fact that I have like SMG classes is just beside me let alone that my first gun is an SMG that is gold and the reason why I had I started with this gun in particular and by the way this gameplay is decent I mean I, my KD is not super awesome but uh, I get six caps at the end so I figured you know what I, it's an objective and I get a decent amount of kills so I was like yeah I might as well post this one um, but uh, but yeah so the assault rifles and stuff were so weak that I started off with a tar uh, and then as I was ranking up I unlocked a three round burst gun whichever the three round burst gun is and look, watch this real quick though I see this guy sitting here and I'm like oh I got him Motherfucker pulls out a shotgun and shoots me in my face. I'm like, God damn you, you bastard. Shotguns are another story, dude. That's another thing for me to get into in another day. Um, uh, but anyway, so so yeah, so so the assault rifle three round burst with lag, like three three bars and stuff for the most part, was so horrible that I could not get a kill. And even medium range, uh, close range, I can understand if an SMG could kill me. That's fine. You know what? Um, it's close range. I, I would expect to die from an SMG if, if it was a one v one. Uh, against an assault rifle that's a three round burst. Me, me, like medium range and long range though, like you, you gotta be shitting me. Like there's no way that I should be able to lose the gun battles uh, like I was doing with the three round burst uh, assault rifle. So at that point, every single person on the other team had an, an uh, SMG and I said, F it. Like I'm gonna start using SMGs then. I'm gonna start fighting fire with fire. And uh, at that point, I had the uh, MSMC gun that you see right here unlocked so I was like well I might as well start using this gun it looked like the the better of the uh, options between the SMGs but obviously the MP7 is a great choice but you have it unlocked from the beginning and I wanted to prestige so I was like well I might as well rank up one of my guns in the middle which was this one and it just ended up being one of those guns that I was like man this is a, it's a, a good gun and it's strong it kind of looks like a little bit of an, a mini Uzi as well as like maybe like a, an AK-74U or something from the back end from the butt of the gun and uh, I don't know it just worked out well and I decided to go ahead and give it a give it a go and lo and behold I actually improved my KD a little bit using this gun and uh, definitely had fun uh, ranking it up and getting it gold so it was kind of cool that I got a gold I also like that that the attachments that you uh, put on the guns actually reflect the gold as well that was kind of a thing that, that was like the biggest pain in the ass thing ever from Black Ops 1 is you wait the entire time to get all these gold guns I remember when I got the gold uh, G11 I was like this is the biggest piece of shit ever like it, it's all it's mostly just black matte black and there's hardly any gold on it and I was like this is ridiculous um, I've gotten killed from shotguns so much in this game it's just crazy but um, not that I have a problem with shotguns but they just seem a, a wee bit OP'd in my opinion um, don't flame me for saying that but I mean they do they seem a little bit OP'd and in fact I threw one on and I started using one to do the same thing back because I was losing close range fights against shotties I was u losing uh, a lot of the time so I ended up um, look at this guy I was like well, how does this guy get me again um, yeah, I ended up using a shotgun, and I did pretty dang well with it. So I definitely am going to be doing a, sh a shotgun reviews, uh, as well as all of the other SMGs and L LMGs and uh, assault rifles, like I've done in uh, Modern Warfare 3. Um, so looking forward to doing that. But figured I'd do some uh, some gold gun gameplays along the way as well. I probably won't get gold with every single one, other than the SMGs, just because uh, unless you guys really want to see it, man, it's just going to be a real pain in the ass to get. Uh, gold with everything, but uh, you know, I don't know. Like, it depends on how long, how much uh, longevity this game actually has on it. Like, it feels to me, and don't get the wrong impression by this again, but it feels to me if, if they don't fix some of these issues that are like game breaking, in my opinion, such as the lag and everything else, uh, I don't think that a lot of people are going to stand by this game. I think a lot of people. Especially if they're better at Modern Warfare 3, they're going to go back to Modern Warfare 3. Um, and and that's not to say it's a good or a bad thing. It's just kind of pointing out something that that's probably going to have to change. Um, 
And I'm sure they'll make adjustments, though, because that's what uh, Treyarch does. They make adjustments, and they do listen. So we'll, uh, we'll see. I mean, as long as they make adjustments and stuff soon and quick, then uh, people are, are going to be impressed with their turnaround and, and uh, stick to it with the long haul. I'm definitely going to be sticking with Block Ops 2 regardless. I'm definitely excited to see how Zombies, like, plays out and, and how... And look at this. I'm, this is kind of a long-range fail right here. I'm trying to... Head glitch, my little wings of redemption attempt right here. And uh, just too much kick on it in long range that I was not able to get the kill. Unfortunately, I've got to learn how to burst fire a little bit more. And maybe an extra attachment might actually steady that out to make it uh, make it a good choice. But this guy ended up getting the last kill because I uh, failed. Look at, this, look at this horrible aim. How did, how did he get the kill? <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't make any sense to me, but whatever. I think it's because my gun had too much, uh, too much recoil, as I was saying. Um... Anyway, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of fun trying to get gold guns. The gold guns in this versus Black Ops One. How do you feel? Uh, how do how do you think they are? Like, I mean, difference wise, I know between Modern Warfare Three and and uh, Black Ops Two, it feels honestly, I don't know which is harder to get. Um, I think that the Black Ops Two ones will be a little bit more annoying because even though you you have 31 levels on the other one, and look, this is what I was trying to be smart and and check my uh, my side because anytime you have one guy running right by you. Uh, chance, chances are, especially in the beginning, there's some other guys that are that are waiting uh, on the sidelines, and I did get one of them, and I decided not to ru rush out too far. Ended up barely securing that B flag, getting those 200 points, which I always love to see. And then I'm back, and I'm playing the ring around the rosy right here. Ended up killing that guy. I know there's another guy on my right in this building, and I would like to uh, jump up here and kill him. I think. Let's see what ends up happening. Uh, yep, there he is. All right, so I do, knew he was there. That's it's kind of a, a typical uh, gameplay right there. And there's an orbital uh, VSAT to help me out a little bit. Definitely love getting this thing. And I'm gonna unlock this my next prestige. I I have been meaning to uh, unlock uh, some of these things, and I just haven't done it. And it really would make a big difference. As you can see right here, I have the uh, the VSAT or the the orbital wait the orbital VSAT up, and then the load star, and then I have the. Uh, dogs right after that so I think I get some dogs action in here uh, before the game's up and that guy threw his Betty and I was like I, I know I gotta get out of there because that thing bounces up and it will kill me uh, it's so uh, it's so ruthless but then right there I get my canine unit love to see the dogs but they really don't do very much that I've seen so far like the swarm is definitely a way better kill streak, and I'll probably do a, a swarm versus dogs video in the future and right there I'm out of ammo finally so that's the other thing about the SMGs that I do like I mean it it seems like there's enough ammo that I'm able to uh, to use the the uh, SMGs and, and not feel like I have to run Scavenger and stuff. So Scavenger to me is pretty much a dead perk. It's something that I used to love uh, running, ran it with specialists and, and everything else in um, Modern Warfare 3. Definitely used Scavenger a lot in Modern Warfare 2 uh, and Black Ops, but not, I don't feel the need to use Scavenger in this uh, going forward. So I don't know, that's kind of an interesting little change of events. But... Uh, so far, yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, initial impressions of Black Ops, I've kind of given that off a little bit. I, I just think that, that there's uh, some things that they can improve on, but all in all, like, it's just a fun game. I'm, I'm looking forward to them releasing more maps, but I hope that they don't go apeshit like what Modern Warfare 3 did and release, like, new maps every three weeks or whatever, because that seriously was overwhelming. It was overwhelming to the point where new maps came out, and then you're just like, what the hell? Like, another map just came out, and... It's, and look at that, that guy was like, I don't even know how he killed me there. I guess he was a crack shot. Um, yeah, but but uh, I'm not sure, man. I just think that, that they shouldn't overdo the maps. Um, and you can see right there, so I, I don't hip fire very much. That was another thing for SMGs. Like, I could probably win uh, more gunfights if I was to use a laser and hip fire more, but it's just not my style. I don't like to, I mean, it's kind of cheap, and honestly, I'm not very good at hip firing. I mean, I, I could probably work on it and improve it. But, uh, but I like to aim down sight when I'm shooting at somebody. I think it just takes a little bit more, um, I don't know, it's not more skill, but it's just uh, more natural feeling for myself to, to hip fire, or to not hip fire, excuse me. Uh, I'm jumbling my words up here. Uh, anyway, so this, uh, this gameplay, again, was just decent, and right here I got overwhelmed. And that's the thing I hate. Like, like right there I was in a situation, I just about ran out of my clip, I didn't reload fast enough, and all of a sudden I got handled. Uh, and there was three dudes there, and in previous games I felt like I could probably take care of all three of those guys, but that's the end of this game. 36 in whatever, 8, but I did have 6 caps and 4 defends, so I figured, you know what, kind of helped out for the win, might as well post this one. Have a good one guys, check back for more content, and we will catch you guys soon, thanks.